Hello people this is self tuts and in this video we will learn how to install kubectl on ubuntu 22 so ubuntu 22 is a linux operating system and let us first understand what is kubectl and why it is needed so the kubernetes command line tool kubectl allows you to run command against the kubernetes cluster so as the name suggests it is a kubernetes command line tool and that helps you to interact with the kubernetes cluster so if you are learning that how to install kubectl then you must have some idea about the kubernetes so kubernetes is a, a system developed by google which is used for hosting containers and or deploying your containers so that it is managed and run efficiently so basically let's say this is your local machine and you have your own kubernetes cluster so for an example you can have a mini cube here which is a local version of kubernetes cluster or you can have actual kubernetes cluster on your local machine or there can be a kubernetes cluster on the cloud so let's say this kubernetes cluster is deployed on google or on um, let's say microsoft azure or anything then you need some tool command line tool through which you can interact with this kubernetes cluster so there comes kubectl so this kubectl will be deployed on your local machine and then you can use that kubectl to interact either with your local machine or with a kubernetes cluster which is deployed on cloud and same kubectl uh, command line tool can be used to interact with multiple kubernetes cluster so this is the most important thing about kubectl like you have one kubectl but you can interact with multiple kubernetes cluster i'm just typing install kubectl and then this is going to uh, take you to a page here install tools kubernetes so i am following this type of uh, installation process because this will help you to install these type of tools later after 6 months also or after one year so we are going to learn how to install it by searching and then going to the actual documentation so if you see here you have install kubectl on linux install kubectl on macos install kubectl on windows so since we are interested on ubuntu 22 which is linux operating system so let's go here now if you so see here you can go and read through everything or you can just follow the commands i have already compiled these commands here in my own blog post which is hosted on self.in and you can just follow it and copy and paste everything and just install it then i am going to use this command on my linux operating system so i have installed a virtual operating system ubuntu 22 on this windows and i am interacting it with the command line tool or using my terminal so this is my uh, ubuntu operating system and here i am going to paste this command which i have copied so what is what this command will do this will try to download this file so based on your internet speed it will take time and if you see here it is around uh, 45.7 mb of the file so 87% has been done 93 and 100% has been done if i do ls you can see kubectl uh, command line tool is downloaded here let's go to the next command that is validate the binary we should validate the binary so just copy it paste it here and this is going to download a sha256 file if you see here do a ls and you can see here the kubectl.sha256 file is there and just copy the next command that is used to verify it and it is kubectl okay so these two steps are not mandatory if you are downloading it from the kubernetes website so the verification is not important because the binary will be correct now just use this command to install kubectl so do a copy and install this since we are using the sudo command so we need to use our password so finally this kubectl is installed and if you see you can use kubectl version and another command sometime it happens like you have installed the kubectl uh, command line tool but still if you type the kubectl it will not be available so we need to uh, reopen our terminal so i'm doing a exit and again i'm doing going to do ssh on my operating system so i am inside the operating system if i do ls you can see everything is here and now let me do kubectl and just run this command version so this is going to give me the data 
uh, means it is going to output something and if it is outputting something which means that the kubectl is present so i already have a mini cube installed on my local operating system let's see kubectl get pods so you can see kubectl is installed and uh, basically it is giving me the a pod which is running on my local operating system so one thing that i told you is like the cube ctl can connect to multiple clusters either it can be local or it can be a remote one how cube ctl does that so cube ctl has something called as context so there can be large number of config context which can be stored and number of config context which can be stored in your local and you can switch between them and connect to your desired operating system so if i say cube ctl config get context so you can see here we have only one here that is mini cube and the star says is the current one if you have more remote kubernetes cluster config so you can install those and those will be listed here you can switch between them and then if you type the kubectl command so the select those command will work on the selected kubernetes cluster so in this way you can interact with multiple kubernetes cluster if you see my website you can see that i have already written a blog here and you can just copy and paste this command if you are trying if you try to install kubectl on ubuntu 22 hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people thank you